with a magnetic field, I can rip oh only God. the ribosomes from the from the microglia, right? Because the magnetic bead is something I can use a force on. Right, 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 right. right? right. The idea is I want to prove that the the transcripts, the mRNA, that the microglia eats another immune cell. Well, that immune cell is going to have its own yeah. mRNA. Yeah. And when I sequence, I don't know if this mRNA came from me doing my own thing or me eating something else and then that food is what's getting transcribed mm -hmm. right so how do we how do we make that distinction, distinction. there's this in, incredible way of doing it called gfp tagging where you take this green fluorescent protein you tag a ribosome with it okay so the ribosome has attached this green fluorescent protein and now the ribosome is going along and take those cells in that culture and you have another part that attaches to the gfp that green fluorescent protein mm -hmm. But that thing is attached to a magnetic bead. Oh, okay. Okay. And now with a magnetic field, I can rip oh only God. the ribosomes from the from the microglia, right? And then I have, and the ribosome is gonna have an mRNA attached, right? Because yes, it's yeah. in the middle of doing some job. Right. Now all of a sudden you like pick it up, so it's like dragging <laughs> the mRNA <laughs> with it, and then you're like, okay, now I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm going to sequence this mRNA. Right. That gives me a, an insight into the actual transcriptome of the of the immune cell rather than all of the mRNA in the immune cell. That, that makes right? I'm sense. actively looking at only the mRNA that is being transcribed into protein that's mm -hmm. actually being yes. through this machinery. Yes. Yes. Right? I thought that's a really that, cool technique. I, 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 I just... <laughs> who... The, the way that folks think about yeah. this um, as like the solution to the problem mm -hmm. because like it, it makes sense. You want to be able to know what is actively being translated yeah yes and so you need to be able to track like in order to be able to validate like what is your process by which you can actually do validation and it's a very clever it's way it's very clever it's like just like to do that yeah basically tag the factory right that's making the stuff right and so any product and then, and then drag the factory drag the, out right 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 and right. then see what's inside, inside the factory, the factory. Right. So if you want only the cars in that particular, like, let's say, city and you don't want all the cars that are right uh, being ridden right, around right. by the yeah. by the general population, you just tag the factory, drag yeah, out the, the factory. factory. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's oh, that's really good. You know, that's really good. It's it, it was it was very cool.